Hi friends, in the part 3 we have seen how you have taken the user selection from the list box and displayed the same in a label. Now we will see that when the user selects multiple options, the same as a string how you will display it in the uh, label. But before that my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you will be notified as and when we add new new tutorials. And let's move and develop the script. We will start from here. This is our blank window with a list box. Let's run this and see here it is. Now we can select and we can select uh, we have not so far not given the multiple option. So then we can select the multiple values. Let's just add that option. Close it. Now let me come here. I am giving select mode. Select mode is here multiple. Now I will able to select multiple. Let me close this run this once here i can i can select multiple now now this selection will display it here let's place the label to the right of our list box so there whatever the user selects that we can place it there so str1 or string1 equal to tk dot string var now here initial value i am just writing it you can write anything or you can leave it blank also if you don't want so this value will be displayed on the label first time when by default so let's create lb2 lb2 is our label lb1 is our list box here it is the list box to the right of it we are creating lb2 so in the grid we will take care of that tk dot label this is a label now where it is parent is my underscore w at line number three above here we have declared it so this we are now taking it to slightly i am changing the background so bg equal to light yellow now here i will first connect the text variable because i am connecting to string variable str1 slightly bigger font i am using font1 that's all my this uh, label i had declared it object i created now let me place it on a grid so lb2 dot grid here the same row wherever whatever the uh, list box I have created the here you can see but to the right of it so I will go for column is 2 here you can see column is 1 so I will place it on column 2 so row is equal to 1 then column equal to 2 now slightly I am not flushing with the left edge so pad x equal to 1 and pad y from the top I am giving a gap of 20 now my list box is ready now what happens once the list box is ready now what will happen when the user i have to add a event to my list box then that I, then the selection i will take it to my label so for that the bind event i am creating lb1 dot bind now here it is inside this i am writing my event here so list box select event so list box select now what will happen once a option is selected i am calling a function my upd or my update this function i have not yet written i am going to write it now so what will happen now let me define the function my upd because it's a event so i have to carry it there inside this my widget anything so here the function i have written i will not write any code now let me just see whether my layout are up to this point it is fine or not so i am saving this running it here so okay fine uh, this is my label here it will be displayed i am selecting one then i am selecting one more i can deselect it also another option so like that i can go on selecting or removing the selections now next we'll see the function once i am selecting this function my update is triggered so inside that i will write the code to update this label let's <coughs> write the code here first i am declaring a variable to hold the selected indices so indices are the whatever the user select one two three four like that the index value of it now here i am lb1 dot cursor selection so now here in this case because it allows multiple so it will be a list not a individual one value it will be a it will be holding a list of all the user selection the index position of it now what i am going to do is now once it is selected i will declare a blank list here my list equal to list 
so every time one selection goes this blank list is created now inside this particularly for i in selected indices so i am just one by one one by one number i am picking up because whatever i have selected now this selected indices this one will have a list here i am writing it list of selected indices so find so selected indices i am inside the list i am looping it now what i am going to do is my list dot append append means it is add to the my list and my list is a blank list every time this function is called my list is a blank list is created so this append what i am going to do is lb1 lb1 is list box one get i i passes the value of selected whatever two three four like that whatever i have selected that index position this gate lb1 gate using that index position i am getting the value part it so it is it now this will have php or mysql whatever it is the user has selected based on this index that value that i am appending to my list so my list will contain the name of it is a php or mysql or javascript whatever i have selected now that once this list is there my job next step is just create update the label or lb2 whatever the label is there to the right with the values or as a string so for that str1 str1 is the string variable you can see here lb1 i have connected to str1 so it's a string variable so it's set i am it's adding uh, updating the value of it so that will be displayed so i am using set to read it i have to use the gate so now what i am going to uh, update it is here or before that sorry uh, before that i have to create a comma separated string let me just come out here i am saying my str it's a string equal to now what i am going to do add a comma now dot join means create a uh, using the list my intention is to create the string by just uh, separating by a comma so i am saying map here str i am using a string function to join that this is a, this str is a i am calling a built-in functions to convert it to string now i am using my list my list is the list calling each element of the list and applying the str function that is what my map will do my map will call each element of of the my list call the function str then create a list then here what i am going to do is using comma to join it now i will have a string not as a list i am i have a string join string using all the elements of the list i have joined it and created the string now that i am updating here sorry now here i am my str now what will happen is this string function this sorry this uh, string variable whatever it is it will be updated with the my str my str i am creating here like this so i am joining the selected elements and creating a string that string i am holding it now each time i click a option this function is called again the list is initiated it's a blank list now loop through all selections are collected joined a string and updated here here i am writing it updated the string bar now let's see this this is one way i'll just give you another way so i am selecting python so python is updated again i am uh, clicking one more option so that option is added again one more if i want to remove python it will remove each time i am giving a selection this function my update is called and once it is called all the selections are freshly taken then the list is blank list is created and these are added now what i am going to do is instead of this is an easy way for understanding instead of that let me try on one liner code what i am going to write it here is my list see the my list is here i am adding it this i am putting it in one line what i am going to do is map lambda now n so what happens here the same thing i am writing it in a one liner lb1 dot get passing n now here i'll say selected index selected indices now in this case what i am don't want is then this line i will comment it 
this is also not required this line is also not required now these three lines straight away my list is created here this n lb1 gets selected in this says my heart uh, right so let me save it and run it once the entire source code is available for you to download also here i am selecting one more one more let me remove php so this is also same thing i am doing it here i am just lambda means each each function one by one i am calling this gate same thing i am doing it taking up the selected because selected indices hold the list of all the user selection the same thing is called one again and again that's all friends hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and the entire source code is available in the description the link is there you can download it and my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and if you have any doubt suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it please share this with your friends and thank you for watching